Welcome back my pupils. This is Gene coming to you with Reloading from the Hot Pot. Hey, today I got something in new for my Sig Sauer P320 AXG Pro. If you've seen my AXG Pro, you've known that I've done some upgrades to it. I put an Armory Craft adjustable trigger in it, a Go Gun gas pedal, some lock, bogey, palm swell grips, and back strap, as well as a Sig Romeo Pro 1 optic. Really, really like this. Oh, I also did the custom Cerakote job to it. That was me. <laughs> but always looking to upgrade it, upgrade it, upgrade it. You know, always looking to improve it a little bit. So I got in an Armory Craft stainless steel guide rod and spring tuning kit for it. And we're going to weigh this against the stock guide rod, put them in, take them to the range, try each spring with some slow mo footage and see how each one actually reacts. Now in this Armory Craft package you get the stainless steel recoil guide rod, a 15 pound spring, a 14 pound spring, and a 12 pound spring. So we are going to see which one works the best, but first we're going to weigh the stainless steel guide rod against the factory guide rod and spring. First, we're going to turn our scales on here. Hit the right button. We've got them on ounces. So the heaviest spring being the blue one. So we are going to start with the blue and the stainless steel guide rod to weigh for the armory craft. But first, we're going to weigh the stock guide rod and spring that comes with the AXG Pro. We have a 1.2 ounce with guide rod and spring. We're going to put that back on to make sure we have an accurate reading. 1.2 ounces. Now we're going to weigh the steel guide rod with the heaviest spring. We're just going to slip it onto the rod itself and we're going to weigh this. 1.7 ounces. So we have 0.5 ounces gain. So we've gained a half an ounce with the steel guide rod and the spring. I don't know if that's going to make a huge difference or not. Uh, we will find out. I'm going to weigh it with the lightest spring, which is the red, which is the 12 pound spring. And again, we have 1.7 ounces. So no change. So we went up 0.5 ounces using the steel guide rod and spring from Armory Craft over the stock unit. Will a half an ounce matter in shooting recoil? Not sure. We're going to, have to take these to the range and find out. Installation into it is just as simple as putting the stock guide rod in. Take the guide rod. I use this end of the spring against the guide rod. It's got a little open loop there where this one is more closed off on this end. So we put the guide rod against the open end, insert it into the slide, and there we go. We've got the Armory Craft stainless steel guide rod and spring. I did consider getting a tungsten for it, and I still may, but I wanted to try this one first and give it a little go around. Now working the slide of this, I can feel a lot less resistance with that 12 pound spring in there. I believe the stock spring is a 17 pound spring, either 15 or a 17. I looked it up and I got a little controversial opinions on it. So we're not going to go with that. Um, we're just going to go with what these are and the way it feels. But that is a lot smoother coming back. Should be able to work my light loads very well. So we're going to take this to the range now, and we will be back with you with some range footage and some slow-mo using the 12, the 14, the 15 pound springs and the stock guide rod spring and compare them. Stay tuned. Well, my pupils, here we are at the gun range. i got a target I'm going to drop out to about 10 yards. Not really going for accuracy, but we are going for how these Armory Craft steel guide rod and springs run. First, we're going to shoot the stock one out of my Sig Sauer AXG Pro. We're going to do some filming with it, and then we're going to put each one in, starting with the 15, going to the 14, and then to the 12. And then we'll go back, edit this, and look at the slow mo of it, and see how everything reacts.
Well, we're done with the samples. I did five shots each. The heaviest spring, the 15 pound, did cause me a stovepipe in my gun. So I think that was a little too heavy. Uh, the 14 and the 12 felt great. The 12 felt phenomenal. But we're gonna go back and put this on slow-mo and look at it, compare them, and then I'll make my decision on what I'm gonna run. Armory craft, stainless steel gun rod, and tuning spring kit. Well, I'm back from the range and getting ready to do the editing. So, after you watch this, tell me what you think. What do you think? Another guy at the range I talked to, uh, also shoots USPSA, uh, tells me he's got a 10 pound spring in his that runs fabulous. So I may purchase a 10 pound and see how that does in it compared to the 12. Thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate you. And always remember to keep blowing the smoke. Shoo.